your next TV purchase in 2025 has a very high chance of being wrong. Not because the screen is bad, not because it's cheap, but because the names were designed to confuse you. OLED, QLED, Mini LED. They sound similar, they look similar in stores, but they are very different technologies. And in the next few minutes, you will understand the difference better than most buyers ever will. Here's the only question that actually matters. Which one is best for your life in 2025? Not for reviewers, not for showrooms, for you. Let's start with OLED. OLED is different from everything else because every single pixel creates its own light. There is no backlight, no lighting zones, no tricks. When a pixel turns off on an OLED screen, it doesn't get dark, it becomes perfectly black. That's why OLED screens have insane contrast, perfect black levels, no blooming, and instant response times. This is why movies look cinematic, why games feel immediate, why dark scenes finally look real instead of gray. But OLED is not perfect. It usually isn't the brightest screen. It is still the most expensive option. And yes, burn-in can still exist if the screen is abused for years. News logos at high brightness, the same static UI every day, extreme long-term misuse, you can still damage it. Now let's talk about QLED. QLED sounds like OLED, but it is not even close to the same technology. QLED is still an LCD screen with a powerful LED backlight and a quantum dot color layer. It does not have self-lighting pixels. It does not turn individual pixels fully off. What QLED does extremely well is brightness. Very bright screens, very vibrant colors, no burn-in risk, and usually much cheaper than OLED. This is why QLED works great in bright living rooms, for sports, and for people who leave the TV on all day. But the weakness is still there. Black areas can look gray. Bright objects can glow into dark areas. And the response time is slower than OLED. So for movies at night, it's not the king. Now things get interesting with Mini LED. Mini LED is still technically an LCD screen, but the backlight is made of thousands of tiny LEDs instead of a few large ones. That changes everything. You get much better contrast than normal QLED, much less blooming, extremely high brightness, no burn-in risk, and at large sizes, it's often cheaper than OLED. This is why Mini LED is exploding in gaming monitors, high-end TVs, and professional displays. It is the closest thing to OLED without actually being OLED. But it still cannot fully reach perfect blacks. Some blooming still exists, and viewing angles can be weaker than OLED. Now let's make this brutally practical. For gaming, OLED has the best response time and contrast. Mini LED gives extreme brightness with no burn-in fear. QLED works, but it's the weakest option here. For movies at night, OLED wins with no debate. Mini LED comes second, QLED comes last. For bright rooms, Mini LED dominates. QLED is strong, OLED can struggle with glare. For budget, QLED is the cheapest. Mini LED sits in the middle. OLED is the premium option. Here's the marketing truth most people never hear. QLED is not the real rival to OLED. Mini LED is. QLED was always a branding move designed to sound like OLED 
and in 2025, it is slowly being squeezed between cheap QLED and premium mini-LED models. Here's what's coming next. Mini-LED keeps getting cheaper. OLED keeps getting brighter. In the next few years, normal QLED will slowly disappear from the premium category. You will either buy cheap QLED or jump straight to mini LED or OLED. So here's the simple decision guide. If you want the best image quality possible, choose OLED. If you want extreme brightness with no burn-in risk, choose mini LED. If you want the lowest price and solid brightness, choose QLED. And here's the final truth. There is no single best screen for everyone. There is only the best screen for how you live. But now, you understand the difference, and most people never will. So the next time someone says OLED, QLED, and Mini-LED are basically the same, you'll know something they don't.